Step that way and half step towards me. Okay, right here. <laughs> so media day, it was it was fun. A lot of new faces. We need rapid fire now. She needs a new headshot. Mm. Rapid fire. Mm. Media day, I like to take a lot of pictures. Like we were doing earlier. Media day, I think it's fun. We get to broadcast our team and uh, show us, show show everybody how excited we are about this year. A key to a good shot. Uh -huh. Oh, right. just smile, you know, you know, be happy, energetic. You know, it's real rough. It's real tough. Step towards me. Smile. How's that? This team gets a lot of coverage. And, you know, to think for a lot of these players on our team, it was their very first media day. This is Jackie uh, Nard, and you're yeah, listening to Maryland women's and basketball it's on WMEC Sports in America. It's Are you guys kind of understanding it's going to be a, a process this year? You know, we understand that it's different, but we still have high expectations. No, I was just hoping to show a little bit of my personality, the little bit that I have, <laughs> and um, allow people to get to get to know me a little better. Your hopes, what kind of things you're looking to get accomplished in the next couple of weeks as the team gets ready for opening? Media day was very interesting. I never had so many people ask me so many different questions. It was it was pretty cool that we had fun as a team. Yes. And again. And okay. again. Give me the headshot. And again. Oh, hear me. You're feeling me. We love to take pictures, so we had a lot of fun taking pictures, and it was uh, it was just pretty cool. Number twenty-four, John Tetron. And there was a lot of nervousness and you know apprehension how they were, were going to handle it, uh, you know. But I, you know, I thought they did remarkably well. And to see, you know, every freshman being interviewed for the first time, I mean, they've never had this kind of media attention, uh, you know, in high school compared to when you come now to Maryland and, and the coverage you receive. And um, they were humble. Uh, they spoke from the heart. And, you know, that's what's exciting to see if or as many times as they are going to be interviewed that um, they can feel comfortable and, uh, you know, just be as humble as they possibly can be. Media day was interesting. <laughs> it was the first time we all um, had the cameras in our faces, a lot of pictures, but this team actually loves the attention. So everybody was ready to take pictures, answer questions. So it was a fun day. Here you are, you're, you're the veteran. They're your only returning starter. I'm heading into the season, talk about your new role. Um, I, think it's, I think it came uh, faster than I thought it would. It's odd being one of the most experienced players on the team because just last year I was a freshman, so it's just kind of like I still have so much more to, to, you know, so much more space to grow, but I have so much more to give to give back to my teammates already as a as a sophomore. And I think that I'm, I'm looking forward to doing both. Do you like this? I like it. It's a good look. Hey, it looks good, but it's, you know, it's like an individualized Lynette, and we're, we're, team, we're in team mode today, Netta. We're in team mode. Right to hater. No, I, I, it looks good as for individualized Lynetta, but today is about Maryland. Today's a, oh, okay. So it, it's okay. not, now, if today was about Kaiser, it would have been good. Me today, I just got to make sure all the girls are where they need to be at the right time, and uh, they do a you know, really good job of, you know, I tell them to, where they need to be, and, you know, they are really good listeners, and, you know, I, they get time for pictures, they all go out for the pictures. Yeah, right, let's everybody. go, Mike. Like on the team picture, I want everything to be consistent. So, you know, make sure the front row, all their hands are in the same spot. You know, all their socks are done okay. You know, Coach Chin had his tie hanging out a little bit underneath, had to make sure he tucked that in. Uh, Coach Langley came to me before, make sure her pants were at the right length. And you know, just trying to make sure everything's consistent. Everybody's, you know, looking their best. We want everybody to put their best foot forward. And um, my goal is for all of our players to, you know, look the best both on and off the court. You know, I want them to perform well. I want them to, you know, look good for the pictures. So everything at the best of their abilities. I think they understand um, how we carry ourselves uh, in terms of a level of professionalism, in terms of how we represent Maryland. Um, hopefully, just by example, every single day. I think it's critical, your staff, your support staff, uh, th they're the most important people uh, in our program because they give the living example every single day to our players. And so when they see you know, staff members and support staff uh, respecting each other, uh, caring about each other, going the extra mile. Uh, you know, there, there, are, there isn't a hierarchy within our program. I think that's how they learn um, how to really carry themselves and, and conduct themselves. Last one. Hey, you guys.
You know, it's not all glamour, and it's really about the work that takes place behind the scenes. All right, here we go. Let's start it off. Two and forward. Here we go. Two and forward. Regular run through. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lots of touches now. Here, right in the middle. Here, right in the middle of that square now. When you look at our team, I mean, really, uh, the foundation uh, for our players and, and the season that we're going to have really starts when no one's watching. Turn it. There you go. Get your hips all the way around. Get your hips all the way around. And I think so much of uh, being a great basketball player, being a great team, is the work you have to do leading up to the season. It, it's really critical to your success. First set of bench, give your partner. Make sure they spot you. Let's go now. Come on. Make sure they spot you. Let's go. This team, we're young but we're real tenacious. Come on. One more, come on. There you go, nice job, very good. We take on a lot of challenges. You know, we, we, we got hearts of a lion. Good, one more, come on. Up, 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 up. Good, nice job, very good. We just go, we just get after it. You know, we, we work really hard uh, on and off the court. You know, we're a fun team. We, we'll have a good time on the court but we'll know when to, when to shut it down and when it's time to work. Talk about in the preseason conditioning. I mean, that's the time, you know, that they need to, to work the hardest while no one's watching uh, in order for us to be a successful team. Here we go, let's get it in real quick, get it in. Yes. All right, the big surprise, it's Halloween. Guess what I'm gonna be? First of all, a little secret that most people don't know is I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I've been to every movie. I haven't had the time to read the books. The glasses are essential. Oh, Harry Potter. But I uh, love the movies and I'm, I'm always there. Was even at one, the first night release date, midnight, you know, when they first came out when I was single. And uh, so I'm just a, you know, big kid at heart, I guess. 10 o'clock, practice time. Get a few laughs with the girls. Hands ready on the catch. Hands ready on the catch. That's five and left. Catch the shoot. One. How many can we get in a row? How many can we make it 10? Two. That's it. Can we go 10 out of 10? came out on the floor, kind of waving my wand, trying to use the voice, uh, you know, although I think Yemi probably could have done a better job with it. <laughs> okay, no sprints. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Got, saw, you know, kids laughing and uh, really enjoyed the moment. <laughs> Coach B is a great motivator, very inspirational, very loving. She genuinely cares about us, has our best interests at heart. She's just like, like my second mom. She's like my mom away from home. She strikes a good balance of being able to push kids, but at the same time, uh, she wants to have a personal relationship with her players. Hopefully for our players, when they look back in their college careers, um, they don't remember the sprints and, and the lifting and all the training. I hope they remember just uh, all the fun moments that um, we've created as, as a team and as a family together. All right, time to practice, but I did break a sweat. This is the time we've been waiting for. This is a great time for, for our pups, our, our newbies. Okay, our newbies could be coaches, could be freshmen, could be senior. Okay, you know, a lot of players that are putting on the Maryland uniform for the first time. Okay, those that have put on the Maryland uniform, they understand what it stands for. Okay, they understand when you put the Maryland uniform on, the pride that you play with every single time you put on the Maryland uniform. I mean, it might be a little different in high school. In college, we break a sweat. So when the horn sounds, you're ready to play. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight was our very first exhibition game, and we took on Bowie State, a local opponent and it was the first game for our five freshmen. And uh, great to be able to see uh, Dara Taylor. So great, I'm excited, to play. Uh, Jandra Chuchwong, Jackie Nard, Tiana Hawkins, and Essence Towson uh, in their very first game in a Maryland uniform. Okay, here we go again, let me know, let me know. 
Something that's really different here at University of Maryland or in college level is that I actually got personally stretched out by our strength and con conditioning coach, Mike, and that benefited a lot because I was sore. We're good? It's so much different. You got a big arena, you got the band playing, cheerleaders, fans. Even though it's an exhibition game, there wasn't that many people here, you still felt it. It's just something about the spirit in Comcast. As soon as you step on the floor, you know it's on. It's game time. It's time to play. This is my first game as a Maryland Terrapin. At first, when we came out, I was so nervous. Like, I was breathing hard. Like, Coach, Coach Freeze thought I was tired. You tired? You look tired. You're, you're like very. <laughs> no, I'm not tired. Okay. Don't talk to him. Good job, Kyachi. But I told her I wasn't tired, but really, it was butterflies. I was so nervous. Like, I've never been this nervous before. Tiana was very nervous, and, and I think because, like, she was winded um, very early in the first half, and I knew it wasn't her conditioning level. She shouldn't have been tired within the first three or four minutes, but a lot of times that's when your heart rate is accelerated and, and it's nerves. Tiana, find out who you have. But I thought she did a much better job after she made that first shot. I think she started out five for five from the field. Look at Tiana. Yes. I like that move. Um, just settled in and, and, and it all came very naturally to her. What Dara brings is just a, a level of intensity and just high energy and she wants to make plays. The, the fine line she walks as a point guard is having that poise and, and having the control. In high school when you always had to make a million plays, you know, like you, you don't have to make a million plays all at once. You know what I'm saying? Like, Coach B pulled me aside when I came out the game at one point and uh, basically told me, calm down. You don't have to try to make a spectacular play. You don't have to try to do everything. Like, I need you to be the calming force. You know what I'm saying? High energy, but calming force when, when you're out there. You're controlling, you know, you're controlling the team, okay, when you're out there. That's a lot of respect. That's a lot of confidence from her that she thinks that I can, you know, turn it around, calm down, and get this, you know, as a freshman, keep this team under control, keep them focused, and when things start to get out of hand, I'm the person that kind of lasses us all back in. Nice job! And she looked at it. You know, I thought, uh, you know, Essence early uh, showed a lot of nerves. When she got onto the floor, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, she was kind of out of position uh, on the defensive end. Oh. Now, when you raise your hands up, all right, defensively, how tall are you? About oh, 6'11", 7 foot. So you don't, you know, just you just get to this point straight up. And I'd rather learn this tonight in the exhibition game than in a real game, just straight up. When, as soon as you come down like this, even if you're not, a, it's a foul, it looks like it. Things I, I'm so used to in high school, swatting down at the ball, thinking everything comes easy because I'm so much, I was so much taller than everybody else. Well, now I have to learn that I have to stop swinging because it's, it's a foul and I have to, you know, be more stronger with the ball. So I thought she gained confidence, uh, especially some of the passes that were thrown to her. She made great catches to, to finishes. You're doing a great job. That was a great, that was a great catch and finish. I thought early into the game, Jandra um, really came out and, and shot the ball well. Stop! I stop! Good job! You know, I thought Jackie was a great spark for us uh, off the bench. Uh, was active, made some plays. Five, five, five. Yes! Go! Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! You know, didn't shoot the ball as well as she probably would have liked, but you know, I thought where, where she showed up in the stat column was she made plays in spite of it. Hey, Jack. Good pass. Nice. Good job. Uh, you know, want to want to commend our newbies. All right, I mean, you know, way to not play like like newbies, like freshmen, like first game out. Of, I mean. Great job stepping up, playing with confidence. Uh, you know, it reminds me of a team last year, 
all right, of a team last year that there were no expectations on. And they go out and, and they become ACC champions. And that's why we would like to give you your rings tonight. <laughs> Bling, would you like to show it for Ange? Well, the players last year got their uh, ACC championship rings, and I'm sitting there, my fingers are feeling kind of naked. So um, hopefully we can go out and repeat what they did, and you know the freshmen and new people can you know, get some bling on their fingers. My name is Rhett Wiersma. I am setting us up for our beep test this morning at 6.30 a.m. I just had to get my mind focused, you know, get, get ready to, for this, this beep test that I had to pass that I desperately need to pass. Go, go, go. Come on, Ange. Push, baby, push, baby. You all right? Come on, come on, get another one, get another one. I kicked the comb because I was extremely angry. Um, I knew I was right there. And I just, I just don't know what happened. I only had a few more sprints to go, and uh, I just couldn't go no more. Is this the day? The day that I pass? Yeah. I hope so. Pray for me. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you missed. You missed. You missed. You're too slow. You got to speed it up a little bit, okay? Is that this for me? Yeah. Angela is having a very difficult time passing the beep test and you know actually just had uh, her individual meeting with her and we talked about the beep test and her words again are that I you know I hate the beep test and um, but we kind of talked about uh, the meaning behind it and uh, you know she understands it and you know is focused on uh, you know getting herself in better shape uh, so she can pass the the beep test so um, she's working hard it's definitely a mental block for her but you know I think uh, in due time you know she she's going she's going to pass it. Um, today I just knew that I had to pass today. I've been doing it for probably like a month and a half now. And I just knew that today I had to come in with a good attitude in order for me to pass. And they had to go through this. Uh, they had to test out of the beep test to, to finish you know, doing this. And Ange uh, took a little bit longer, which was fine. She's been doing extra cardio with me after practice. It's just she's slowly getting in better shape. And, and it's a tough test. It's probably more mental than, than physical. Let's go. Let's get on there. As well as getting my mind right for the test, you know, um, just thinking in my head that, that let, don't let the test beat me. I got to beat the test. Better. Go. Come on, Ange. Come on, Ange. Come on, Ange. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, Ange. Get her done right here. Let's go. Jackie and I came because we want to try to cheer him on here, see if we can get these times. So, yeah, you know, it's always good to have teammates here. And when it's not at 6 a.m., you can get up and be here to be with them and hopefully help them pass. You know, just having those those extra people, not only coaches, but your own teammates there cheering you on, you know, that gave me a little extra push. This is how we're getting better, Ange. This is how we're getting better, Ange. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. All the way through. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey, I bet you there's less than six left. I bet you there's less than six left. Change to speed 12. Focus, focus, focus. Stay low. Go, 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 go. Turn, turn quick, turn quick. Let's go. All the way through, all the way through. All the way through. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, first miss. Come on, you've got. Yeah, I definitely felt like I hit the wall. Once the wall came, I knew I had to break through it. Bust it, go. Bust this out. Bust this out. Turn quick. Turn quick. Go, go on, go on. Come on, come on, come on. All the way through. Good job, good job, good job. Right. Hey, you got to make this one, though. We got to make this one. Last one. Go. Go on, go on, go on. All the way through. This one, we gotta go, you gotta go. Come on, Ange, come on, Ange. All the way through. Good through, good job. What was the last one? You gonna let her know? Ange, come here. Oh, I'll go to you. <laughs> In my head, I was like, man, I, I hope that that passed, but if I didn't, then I know I have to come back in with the same mindset and do it again. You go that hard, you're out. You're out. That's a great job. That's a great job. <laughs> Woohoo! That's a great job.
great job. With the effort that uh, that Angela gave today, uh, we decided, as Coach Freeze decided as a staff, that she's finished with the beep test. So that was a great day for her. And I, and I think it really helped that Jackie was here and Lori was here, two of her teammates, to encourage her on. Uh, that was a great support system there. Coach Freeze came down, Coach Langley, Matt was here, the, the uh, trainer. So all of us, you know, wanting her to get this done, I think helped her, pushed her to, uh, you know, over the edge to, to get it done. No more beep test in your sleep. No more having to, to think about it. It's so great when, when a young person sees that they can do it and they made it through and they fought through some adversity. And, uh, you know, she's, she's had to come back a few extra times and, and she's made it. So now hopefully she's feeling pretty good about herself and she's prepared to have a tremendous sophomore year for us. The beep test kind of measures not only where you're at conditioning, but your mental toughness. You know, if you, get, if you can conquer the beep test and break through the wall when you're tired then, then on the court you can do it anytime.